So the reason I want everybody to be a songwriter is because I think it's one of the best ways we can be open-hearted and kinder and gentler. And, and so even if you're not starting with your own song, uh, at least you're starting. We're going to sing at beatbox, I think, is another part of it. So we'll start with the beatboxing. If it helps, close your eyes, go. <laughs> Gotta keep going no matter what. Ohio last November, it was terrible. It tore away the way winter rain and the snow. Sass here. And stopped you, oh, they stopped you at the border box. Say what to declare, he said, I don't know what I don't know. Since when is every song an argument, every word a bomb? Terrible explosions were put together wrong, you said. I know, I know, I know the words to, well, I know, I know the words to, I was there with you. I wrote them to lean in. Can you not hear all the sound that the heart makes as she leans in? You not hear the sound and the sound. Okay, you can stop the beatboxing and we're gonna go to the chorus. We said love is louder than all this. Love is louder than all this. Love is louder than all the noise. Sing. Love is louder than all this. Love is louder than all this. Love is louder than all the noise. Again. Love is louder than hollows. Love is louder than hollows. Love is louder than whole noise. Was your messy heart chosen, or was it overlooked? Had you the crazy in the corner, writing it in your book? Well, in a cynic with a cynic's hook, a certain house gonna fall. To be taken from me by words or by craft or by bombs. I would rage, I would rage into an army. I'd bring you back with songs. Lean in, oh, when can you not hear the sound that the heart makes as she leans in? Can you not hear? Sound and sound. Chorus, sing. And love is louder than all this. Love is louder than all this. Love is louder than all noise. Love is louder than all this. Love is louder than all this. Love is louder than all the noise. Moments happen and we're all in it. Oh, well, the tricks of recognition of perfect soul. But all hands up, don't sleep through it. And no one knows how much time, and how much time is left. Oh, oh how much time is left. louder than whole noise and we said love is louder than whole this love is louder than whole this love is louder than whole noise noise and noise thanks a lot so if we can normalize it so that we're all songwriter and whatever else we do, um, we're going to teach people to be able to say things that are inside of them 
that are hard to say when we're just talking. You can get away with a lot when you put it in a song. And uh, whenever I visit high schools, um, playing in different parts of Canada, there's always, you know, we ask the question, how many people here had a song that saved their life? And it's like, the whole class. <laughs> and so I think it's a, a good start anyways, if we can try it. Um, I'm just going to do one more little song for you. This is a song called Recovering. And I was taught a lesson by one of these classes I visited where the what I wrote the song about doesn't really matter. But it's how they connected with it. And so uh, this song was written for a friend who's got a lot of addiction issues. And uh, he'd been asking me to write him a song for a while. And I played it for him. He's like, no, no, no not about that. I don't want that song. <laughs> and... Uh, so, um, I started to explain what the song was about to this group of kids. And it was a grade five, six class. And you don't introduce a song like that to a grade five, six class. <laughs> so I caught myself and I said, you know what? What I wrote about doesn't matter. I'm more interested in what it means to you. And, uh, and all the students suddenly were super engaged. It was like hanging off of every word. And then as the last chord rang out, the Emily in the front row, who is in all of us, who had a retainer, who had, was like, <laughs> I know what it's about, Mr. Carter. I said, what's it about, Emily? And she said, it's about swimming lessons. And it's about swimming lessons where your parents make you go, but you don't want to go. And it's important to go, though, because there's opportunities later on for camp. And, there's, a, there's so much that you could miss out on if you don't have the credentials, the, the interim credentials, Mr. Carter. <laughs> and I remember sitting there, sort of shocked that I'd almost overshared with this class, but then going like, thank you, Emily. <laughs> she was right, it's a song about swimming. It's a song about staying above the water, and just making things work. So I appreciate this time. Um, I'd love your help on the chorus. I think the, the issue is people's eyes are open and they're feeling a bit shy about singing. So if you just close your eyes, it's scientific. Things get louder. We said once, twice, three times again. There is no road so far beyond recovering. We said once, twice, three times again. There is no road so far beyond recovering. Please sing. We said once, twice, three times again. There is no road so far beyond recovering. Oh, recovering. spring swallows winter a bitter swallow sweet they said I'm tired of missing the stars dripping on my feet trying to make it better I've been saying this so long now things will be better soon better soon all right we say it once twice Three times again, there is no road so far beyond recovering. We say it once, twice, three times again, there is no road so far beyond recovering. Oh, recovering. For hope, long after hope she let go. The craving keeps coming by the way. Though in doubt holds court with her small town boats, 
And the worst is how she's familiar, how she's comfortable. We say it once, twice, three times again. There is no road so far beyond recovering. We say it once, twice, three times again. There is no road so far beyond recovering. Oh, recovering. Spring swallows winter like bitter swallows sweet. He said, I'm tired of missing the stars tripping on my feet. It's all mistake for brokenness, a fragile state opening of coming out of the night today. So far, yeah, I'm recovering.